After I got this flight nurse helicopter helmet painted and the visor painted, he decided he wanted bullet holes in the visor. So now we're going to go back with 600 grit sandpaper, scuff the visor, and put some bullet holes in it. So if you're putting bullet holes in an already painted surface that's been cleared, you need to scuff it with 600 grit wet dry sandpaper, wet and then put your bullet holes in it and re-clear it, which is what I'll do on this visor. Okay, I've gone through and scuffed the visor with 600 wet sandpaper and I have applied transfer tape to this because it's round using a cardboard bullet stencil would be pretty hard to do, hold it in place and keep a nice tight edge all the way around so I chose to use uh, transfer tape. If you're airbrushing a bullet hole on a flat surface, you can use a cardboard bullet template that you can make pretty easy, or you can make one out of uh, 5 mil acetate is also you could use. So we have our bullet hole in there. Whenever you cut transfer tape on a hard surface, you want to use the edge of the blade not the point of the blade. You use the edge of the blade, you have less chance of cutting down through the clear into the paint as you do if you use a point. If you use a point, chances are of scoring the surface are pretty good. So to this point, we're ready to apply our base color. Our base color is going to be House of Color Orange Silver. You always want to test your airbrush before you use it. Whenever airbrushing a stencil, for a template, you always want to airbrush away from the edges, into the middle. If you airbrush this way, if you're using a template or a stencil, chances of paint blowing underneath it and getting a, over, over, under spray underneath there so you don't end up with a hard edge around the edge are pretty good. So you want to blow the paint in towards the middle. You don't want to use a lot of paint because you don't want a lot of build up around these edges. You don't want a real big paint, ridge of paint there when you go to pull the transfer tape off. It's going to be hard to bury in the clear. So you want to use as little paint as you possibly can. As a rule. Now we have our base color of orange silver. I'm going to take black. House of color base again. Press my airbrush again. It's over reduced. Put a dot in the center where our center of our board hole is going to be. You want to use paint, not pencil, magic marker, crayon, or anything else. Paint's only as good as what's underneath it. If you're using some foreign material like magic marker, pencil, or pen. Chances of the paint filling are a lot better. So it's not a good idea. We put our top drop shadow in there. We've over reduced base white now. We we'll put our highlighted area of the bullet hole in the bottom. Just enough white Not a lot. Now we're going to use a circle template. This one's just a drafting circle template. We'll line it up with the center of our bullet hole. Apply some black. And then we have our bullet hole. We don't want it to be perfectly round, so we'll go back in. Give it a little bit misshaped. Let some of the overspray 
I found the oil and silver. It helps create that dent effect. And there you have a bullet hole. Unmask it, clear it, and you should be good to go. It's that simple. It's just black or a very dark, 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 dark purple, almost to the point of black, is your drop shadow or your your darker area on top. Very transparent white or gray on the bottom. Around center or your bullet hole, the black, and that's it. That's how you create a bullet hole for those who want to create bullet holes. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Pull our masking off, clear it, and it's done. Now if you're using solvent based paint, and you want to know what it's going to look like before you clear it, you can use some prep all. If I can find the camera, you can use some prep all on a paper towel. Just wipe it over. And that will pretty much tell you what it's going to look like when it's cleared. As you can see, I did the other side already. That's how you create a bullet hole. Pretty simple, pretty easy. This is Don at Airbrush Technique. There are written, there's a written how-to article with pictures on this bullet hole. If you need a printed or want a printed version of this, you can go to howtoairbrush.com and print it off from there. It's free. Thank you.